Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to look after pigs in Farming Simulator 22 and I'm also going to be looking at how much money we can make from them. So the first step is buying somewhere to keep your pigs and you do this by opening the shop, going into construction, over to animals, into pigs and you'll see we have the pig pasture that will hold 30 pigs, the pig sty that will hold 108 pigs and the pig sty large that will hold 270 pigs and you just place one down like this. Now if you're using one of the pig styes, your pigs will produce manure. So you're going to want to place down a manure heap. And you need to make sure that you go into the silo extensions and place down the manure heap extension because the other manure heap will not work. And you just place one of them down next to your pig styes like this. And that's where your manure will spawn. Now once you've bought somewhere to keep your pigs, we need to buy some. And there's three ways that we can do this. The first way is by going to this icon here and opening the animal dialogue and selecting which pigs you want and how many and if you do it this way you will have to pay a transport fee. The second way is by opening the shop, going to the animal dealer, selecting which pig pasture or pig style you want to put your pigs into and selecting which ones you want and how many. You will also have to pay the transport fee doing it this way. And the third way is by using one of these animal trailers and going over to the animal dealer and loading it up with pigs and then bringing it back to either your pig pasture or pig sty and unloading them. And if you do it this way, you will not have to pay the transport fee. Okay, once you've bought your pigs, we need to feed them. And if we take a look at the animal menu, you'll see that the pigs require base food, which is corn or sorghum, grain, which is wheat or barley, protein, which is soybeans, canola or sunflowers, and root crops, which is potatoes or sugar beet. And to get 100% effectiveness, we need to feed them all four. And you want to give them more of each food in the order they are in, because base food will go down quicker than grain, and so on. Now there's two ways you can feed the pigs. The first way is using the different crops for each food type, and you'll see I've got some trailers here with the different food types in each one. And if I get into this tractor, I'll show you where to put the food. So if you're using a pig sty, you want to reverse up to this small silo here and you'll get the unload sign come up. And you unload all the different food types into here. The pig styes also require straw and we put this in the same place we did the food. So you reverse up and you'll get the unload sign come up. And there we are. Now the second way you can feed the pigs is using pallets or big bags. If we go into objects, you'll see we have pallets and big bags of pig food. And if you use these, they will give you the perfect ratio of each food type and 100% effectiveness. A quick tip is that you can also load big bags or pallets directly into a trailer. So I'll just load them up and then I'll show you where to put the food if you're using a pasture. So you want to go over to this icon here and if we reverse the trailer up, we will get the unload sign. And there we are. Now the pasture doesn't require straw, but it does require water. And you'll see I've placed down a water tank to refill my water, and I'll quickly show you where to find that. So open the shop, go into construction, buildings, over to containers, and it's this water tank here. Now if you use the water tank, it will charge you for water, but if you don't want to pay, you can find any part of water on the map, reverse up to it, and refill your water for free. So once you fill it with water, you want to go to this icon here and reverse up to it and the unload sign will come up. And that's everything for looking after the pigs. And if we open the animal menu, you'll see the pig sty that we fed using the trailers has a total food of 34,000 litres, which is all the food types added together. So we have 12,903 litres of base food, 9,493 litres of grain, 7,490 litres of protein and 4,112 litres of root crops which will give us 100% effectiveness and the pasture that we fed with the pig food has a total food of 4,000 litres with 1,999 litres of base food, 999 litres of grain, 800 litres of protein and 200 litres of root crops which will also give us 100% effectiveness. And the pasture also has 3,000 litres of water and the pigsty has 15,000 litres of straw, 
and you'll see that under productivity, the pigsty also has slurry and the pasture does not, because the pastures will not produce slurry or manure. So bear that in mind if you want your pigs to produce slurry and manure. Okay, moving on to making money from the pigs. If we look at the prices, you'll see that there are two different priced pigs. One is £200 and the other is £416. And the difference in price is because the pigs are different ages. So the £200 pigs are zero months old and the £416 pigs are six months old. So you will be able to get more zero month old pigs for the same price as less of the six month old pigs. So what I've done is I've spent the same amount of money on each one and I've put them in separate pig styes. And I've also put a manure heap next to each pig sty, so they each have their own one. So I spent £9,999 on the six month old pigs and I got 24 of them. And for £10,000 I got 50 of the zero month old pigs. So we got quite a few more of the zero month old pigs for one pound more. And I'm going to skip ahead and see which ones are the most profitable and also which ones produce the most manure and slurry. Okay, we're back and I've skipped ahead nine days. And if we look at the animal menu, you'll see the six month old pigs are now 15 months old and are worth 475 pound. And they have also reproduced twice and we got 24 pigs each time. So the first ones are five months old and they are worth 225 each. And the second ones are one month old and they are worth 125 each. The zero month old pigs are now nine months old and they are worth 325 pounds each. And they have reproduced another 50 pigs that are zero months old and are worth 88 pound. They have only reproduced once because the reproduction age is six months old. So they did not start reproduction until they reached that age. Now, if your pigsty is full, you will lose any of the pigs that are being reproduced and you will not get any money for them. So you will need to sell some pigs. So let's see how much we'd make from selling the pigs that have been reproduced so far. So let's say that you took them to the animal dealer yourself so you won't have to pay the transport fee. For the first 24 that the six month old pigs reproduced, we would get 5,400. And for the second 24, we would get 3,000. So that's a total of 8,400 for all the pigs that the six month old pigs reproduced. And if we sold all 50 pigs that the zero month old ones reproduced, we would get a total of 4,400. So you would make more money from selling the pigs that the six month old ones have reproduced in the amount of time that we have had them. Now, if we take a look at how much slurry they have produced, the six month old ones have produced 29,560 litres of slurry, and the zero month old ones have produced 34,708 litres of slurry. So the zero month old pigs have produced more slurry. And if we take a look at the manure heap, the six month old pigs have produced 22,039 litres of manure, and if we head over to the other pigsty with the zero month old pigs, they have produced 25,374 litres of manure. So the zero month old pigs have also produced more manure than the six month old ones. And you can either use the slurry and manure as fertiliser, which will save you money, or you can take it to sell. And if we look at the prices, you'll see that manure is worth £58 and slurry is worth £54. So you can make a bit of extra money if you choose to sell them. Now the last test I want to do is to see what the maximum value is for the pigs and at what age they reach that value. So I'll skip ahead until we're at maximum value. Okay, we're back. And if we look at the animal menu, you'll see the pig's maximum value is 1,000 pound and they reach that at 36 months old. And it doesn't matter if you buy zero month old pigs or six month old pigs, they will both max out at £1,000. And I am playing on normal economy, so it may be more or less for you, depending on what economy you are playing on. So pigs are not a very profitable animal, and they are not the easiest to look after. But if you are going to have pigs on your farm, I would go for the six month old pigs, because they will reproduce quicker, and you can start earning back some of the money that you have spent without waiting as long. I would also recommend using a pigsty and a manure heap so that you get free fertilizer to use on your fields. And I'll just show you where to get your slurry from. 
So if you drive under this pipe here with your slurry tank, you will be able to refill it. And for the manure, you can use a bucket attachment and just scoop it up and put it into your manure spreader. Okay, that's everything for today. I hope this video helps you out. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a like and feel free to subscribe so you never miss another video.